Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. You know how there are those videos that are like, so-and-so answers the web's most searched questions about them, and that's fine, but like, how do I know that I can trust so-and-so? There's a part of me that wants so-and-so's, like, sibling to answer the most asked questions about so-and-so. Here are the most asked questions about Hank Green, answered by his brother. What does Hank Green do? Well, I don't know. Everything? He runs Complexly, an educational media company that makes Crash Course and SciShow and Eons and Journey to the Microcosmos and lots of other things. He also runs DFTBA.com, a merch company, and he runs the Awesome Socks Club, a sock subscription service for charity. He is the author of two critically acclaimed and best-selling novels. He's a musician. Hold on, I'm just gonna go to Wikipedia. Oh. I do this a lot when I'm trying to, uh, remember all the stuff that Hank does. Okay, that was helpful. He's also a podcaster, he's huge on TikTok, and he won an Emmy for helping make this adaptation of Pride and Prejudice called The Lizzie Bennet Diaries. Did Hank Green invent 3D glasses? No, I forgot that. Hank Green invented something much more important than 3D glasses. 2D glasses that render three-dimensional movies in a crisp two dimensions. This was actually the first moment when Hank went from being a person with a lot of ideas to being a person with a lot of ideas and some system for making those ideas into realities. He called me one day and he was like, hey, uh, Catherine and I went to the movies and she really doesn't like 3D movies because it, it gives her a headache. I think it'd be fairly straightforward to make glasses that turn 3D movies into 2D movies. And would you like to go in with me on this exciting business venture? And I was like, no. I was definitely wrong and I learned my lesson, which is never bet against Hank Green. What disease does Hank Green have? Hank has ulcerative colitis. He's lived with it for most of his adult life now, and it's really hard, but also he's doing it. How does Hank Green know so much? So neither Hank nor I were particularly amazing students in school, but when Hank got to college and especially grad school, he got really passionate about learning. And then he just kept learning. He kept researching and kept trying to understand the world around him, and I think that's how he knows so much, is a mix of research and having been a passionate learner for so many decades. What does John Green write about? I love it when Hank and I show up in each other's Google searches. I'll tell you what I don't write about. Siblings. All right, lightning round. Is Hank Green still alive? Yes. Married? Yes. Vegan? I actually don't know. Related to John Green? Yes. Is Hank Green a professor? No. Is Hank Green from Montana? Yes. Is Hank Green in Jurassic Park? I don't think so. We were like eight when it came out. Does Hank Green have a PhD? No, he has a master's. Does he have a brother? Yes. Does he have a podcast? Yes. Dear Hank and John, also delete this. Also SciShow Tangents. Does he have a degree? Yes. Does he have a child? Yes. One. Does he still run VidCon? No. Oh, I forgot about that. Hank has also started many companies, including Subbable, which became part of Patreon, and VidCon, which is now owned by other people. He's also started many companies that became nothing. Like, he had this great idea, UR Elatron, that was kind of going to be Linktree before Linktree, like a place where all of your URLs would go. And it was actually a very good idea. It was just like slightly wrongly timed. But one of my very favorite things Hank Green helped found is the Project for Awesome. And this year, between February 17th and February 19th, we'll be having the 16th Project for Awesome. It's a 48-hour live stream extravaganza where we raise money for charity, you can get lots of great perks for donating, and in order for it all to work, we need a matching fund. Hank and I donate to the matching fund every year, so do hundreds of other nerd fighters, and if you're in a position to donate $500 or more, please join us at projectforawesome.com slash matching. Hank, you are amazing. I'm your biggest fan, and I have been your biggest fan since you were born. You're just incredible. Don't be afraid to take it down a couple notches if you need to, okay? Because I worry about you sometimes, because I like you so much. All right, I'll see you on Friday.